In a world increasingly focused on electric mobility, Porsche is charting a unique course with its groundbreaking air fuel technology. Designed to offer a sustainable alternative to conventional fossil fuels, air fuels have the potential to reshape the future of transportation while preserving the legacy of combustion engines. This comprehensive analysis delves into the intricacies of Porsche's e-fuel initiative, exploring its production methods, diverse applications, and recent record-breaking achievements. Now, e-fuels or synthetic fuels are liquid or gaseous fuels produced using renewable energy sources. Porsche's approach involves combining hydrogen with CO2 captured from the atmosphere to create a clean burning fuel that can power existing combustion engines. Unlike traditional fossil fuels, e-fuels are carbon neutral, meaning they release no additional CO2 into the atmosphere when burned. This characteristic makes them an attractive option for sectors where electrification is not yet viable, such as aviation, shipping and heavy-duty transport. Now, Porsche has invested significantly in developing a scalable e-fuel production process. The key steps involve electrolyzing water to produce hydrogen, capturing CO2 from the air or industrial sources, and then synthesizing the two into a liquid hydrocarbon fuel. This synthetic fuel can be distributed through existing fueling infrastructure and used in combustion engines without any modifications, offering a seamless transition for consumers and businesses alike. But beyond their potential applications in modern vehicles, e-fuels hold immense promise for preserving automotive heritage. Classic cars, particularly those with high-performance engines, face increasing scrutiny due to emission regulations. E-fuels provide a, a viable solution, enabling vintage vehicles to comply with environmental standards without compromising their original specifications or performance. For Porsche enthusiasts, this gives the opportunity to experience iconic models like the 911, the 356 and the Carrera RS in all of their glory while also contributing to sustainability efforts. It's a win-win scenario that bridges the gap between automotive passion and environmental responsibility. And in my personal opinion, classic cars are classic for a reason. If you buy a classic Mustang, you want the roar and growl of a V8. If you buy a classic Ferrari, you might want the screams of a Ferrari V12. And if you buy a classic 911, you want the singing of a flat motor climbing to redline. <laughs> And all of this is just stuff that electrification could never replace. Anyways, Porsche has broken a record with their new e-fuel. You see, in a dramatic demonstration of e-fuel technologies, capabilities, Porsche recently set a new world record for the highest altitude reached by a vehicle. Two modified 911s powered by Porsche's HIF e-fuels ascended chilies, and I'm gonna say this incorrectly, so I'm sorry, in advance. Ojos del Saldo Volcano, reaching an unprecedented altitude of 6,734 meters above sea level. The record-setting 911s underwent extensive modifications to conquer the challenging terrain of this volcano. Bespoke portal axles increased the ground clearance to 13.7 inches, while a series of mechanical and electronic enhancements ensured optimal performance in the thin air and rugged conditions. Despite these modifications, the cars retained the stock 3-litre twin turbocharged 6-cylinder engines, a testament to the efficiency and adaptability of Porsche's e-fuel technology, as well as the adaptability of combustion engines. Now, Romain Dumas, 
the accomplished racing driver who piloted the record-setting 911 encapsulated the significance of this achievement, stating, It was an extraordinary feeling to drive where no car has gone before. The 911 managed to go higher than any other earthbound vehicle in history. This accomplishment not only highlights the performance potential of e-fuels, but also reaffirms Porsche's commitment to pushing the boundaries of automotive engineering. Looking forward, Porsche aims to ramp up e-fuel production with plans to establish commercial-scale facilities in strategic locations around the world by partnering with industry stakeholders, governments and environmental organizations. Porsche seeks to create a robust e-fuel ecosystem that supports widespread adoption across various sectors. Beyond the automotive realm, e-fuels have the potential to catalyze broader sustainability initiatives by enabling carbon-neutral transportation solutions. E-fuels can play a significant role in reducing greenhouse gas emissions, mitigating climate change and fostering a more sustainable future for generations to come. To end it off, Porsche's e-fuel revolution represents a paradigm shift in the automotive industry, offering a viable and sustainable alternative to traditional fossil fuels. Through innovative production methods, diverse applications and record-breaking achievements, Porsche is redefining the possibilities of the combustion engine in a rapidly evolving landscape. As the world navigates the complex challenges of climate change and environmental stewardship, Porsche's e-fuel initiative stands as a beacon of innovation, resilience and and a testament to the enduring legacy of automotive excellence. But at the end of this video, please let me know what you think of this e-fuels Porsche is working on. I really like the idea of e-fuels, and the main reason for it is it can be used in any vehicle without any modifications. So if you've got an old BMW, you can just chuck it in the car will drive without any like problems or anything. If you've got a newer car, you can still do it, so you don't have to kill off the combustion engine entirely. Because what a lot of people then think about that is on the electric bandwagon is there's like a billion, I think there's 1.2 billion internal combustion engine cars around the world in use. Um, what do you do with all of those cars? If you just crush all of them, whatever, the energy used to crush them is bad for the environment. The electricity is made from fossil fuels. So yeah, that's not the best idea. So the best for the planet would be to use these cars but without using fuels that release new CO2 into the air. So with carbon neutral fuels. But yeah, at the end of the video, please let me know what you thought of the video number one and what you think of the e-fuels number two. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please have a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you did like it, you'll most probably like some other stuff. So just go through my channel, see if there's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, I.